Hello my dear friends, my name is Harold and welcome to the Sanctum, your gateway into learning and exploring the ancient wisdom of the East and the West. Before I start this video, I'd like to first apologize for the sound and video quality. The reason is I am not at home at the moment and I'm out traveling and for that reason I am simply recording on a phone because I want to get a video out for you guys. For that reason, since I'm traveling, I thought I will address a couple of questions. It's actually the same question that was sent to me by a couple of you via email. And in order to answer this question, I thought I will give you a little bit of an anecdote of a very peculiar and interesting event that took place in my life somewhat recently. So those of you who've been following my channel know that recently I've been making a series on spirits and all about spirits. And the question that a couple of you asked me via email was, have I ever seen any spirits or interacted with any spirits? So in response to this question, I'd like to tell you a little bit of a story. So please take this story that I'm about to tell you with a pinch of salt and an open mind. It's just an interesting experience that I'd like to share. So when I first moved into the place that I live in right now, in London, in the United Kingdom, where most of my videos are shot, not this particular one because I'm away, but the one last week and the one next week is shot in that particular place. And I moved into that place uh, on the 6th of March, 2023. So that particular evening when I moved in, and there were boxes everywhere and all of that, and I managed to get my mattress and set it up and, and fall asleep uh, at, at night. Now, that evening, so it would have been maybe the 6th of March or the 7th of March, last year something very interesting happened as soon as i closed my eyes and i started to drift off into sleep i kept going into sleep paralysis now if, if for those of you who don't know what sleep paralysis is it is when your body falls asleep but your mind is still awake so your body has fallen asleep a lot faster than your mind has and for that reason it feels as if you are awake but you can't move your body and for a lot of people this can be who have experienced it it can be very very scary and also as i've mentioned in another video of mine that this is a gateway this could be a gateway into the astral plane so it's a perfect gateway to using astral projection when you are experiencing sleep paralysis now for me this is quite natural because i've experienced sleep paralysis thousands of times in my life so I'm very comfortable with it and when it happens it's I see it more of an of an opportunity to either induce a lucid dream or experience uh, an astral projection so for me this was a uh, no big deal I know how to wake myself out of a sleep paralysis experience so I fell into sleep paralysis and I was like oh, okay I'm in sleep paralysis and but then suddenly what happened was while I was experiencing sleep paralysis I would feel somebody quite aggressively poking me and shaking me like this. So I thought that was kind of strange. But anyway, I knew how to wake myself up and I woke. And anyway, I didn't think much about it and I just closed my eyes and drifted back into sleep. But this time, once again, immediately I entered into sleep paralysis again, this a second time. But this time, once again, I, I felt somebody shaking me and then I heard a little girl screaming into my right ear and then once again I woke up and I thought oh that, that's really strange closed my eyes again again went into sleep paralysis and this started repeating itself for about 10 to 12 times where I would just wake up go back into sleep paralysis people were shaking me tickling me poking me people screaming in my ear I heard a man's voice at one point and all of this was taking place and I kept waking up going back into sleep sleep paralysis and all the strange things started to occur until I was like okay this is just too much I'm just going to try to sleep again because I had a really busy day the next day and I needed to get some rest so I closed my eyes again went back into sleep paralysis and decided to do an astral projection 
So I use the same technique that I, I talk about on my channel on, on astral projection, uh, and I'll put a link to that up here or up here. Likely, this link I'd have to put it on later. So if you're immediately watching this, you might not see that link because I only have a phone and I might not be able to put that link up there. But anyway, you can find that video where I talk about this technique on my channel, on my playlist where I talk about astral projection. So anyway, I use that technique that involves the triangle and the point on the center to induce an astral projection. And then in a very short period of time, I found myself out of my body in the astral or more like the etheric because the etheric plane is more similar to the environment that one can find themselves in. So the my room kind of looked a little bit like my room. It had that somewhat solid structure of my room. So it was more etheric than astral because when you're experiencing an astral projection, you can manifest in different densities within the astral. The more higher you find yourself in vibration in the astral, the less form-like things are and things start to be a little bit hazy and liquid-like and not really... It's more formless in nature, so it was a lot more form. It looked like my room, which told me it was more etheric than astral in nature. And I found myself in my room, and then, to my surprise, Right in front of me in my room was a man, maybe in his mid-40s to early 50s. Next to him was a woman, which I assume is his wife. She was holding a little baby in her, in her hands. There were two kids, a, a little boy, maybe about 12 years old, and a little girl, maybe about 8 years old, and an old lady with a walking stick right? and these spirits were there in my room and they were wearing kind of old 19th century type clothing English clothing that people would wear in England in, in the 19th century sort of like overalls they were wearing like brownish kind of 19th century overalls and immediately when I came out and I saw those people standing in my room The man looked at me and was like, oh finally we, we managed to get your attention We've been stuck here for over a hundred years And we've been waiting for somebody to move in here who can release us Please can you can you release us? We've been stuck here for this long We want to let go. We want to move on, but we can't please help us so I looked at these people and said, I'm sorry, I don't know how to release you guys. I, and I don't, I don't have time for this. I need to go to sleep. Can you please stop bothering me? I have a big day tomorrow and I need to have a good night's sleep. Can you please let me sleep? Thank you. And the guy was like, no, 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 don't go back. Wait, 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 please help us. Please help us. And before I could do anything or say anything more, I jumped back into my body and woke up. And I thought, okay, that was a peculiar dream. I'm just going to close my eyes and fall back asleep. So I closed my eyes and once again, same thing happened. Went into sleep paralysis. People f felt people shaking me, people screaming into my ear, all of that. And kept waking up, falling asleep, going back into sleep paralysis. And this continued again for another 10 to 12 times until I decided, oh, I'm going to use astral projection again. So I came out of my body, found myself in the room again. And the same people were there in my room. This time the man was there with his hands together like this on the floor saying, please release us. We're going to keep doing this. We're going to keep waking you up until you decide to release us. And at this moment, I didn't know what to do. I was like, guys, I don't know how to release you all. I don't, I, I really don't know. And then suddenly what I realized, well, hang on a minute. I do know. And suddenly this it was almost like a download. It just came to me. And I realized, wait, I do know how to release these guys. And I don't know what made me do this, but I decided to close my eyes or my astral eyes and tell myself I'm becoming lighter in density. I'm becoming more and more and more subtle. And I moved, I looked up and just decided to fly through the roof above my apartment and go all the way up into the sky and just keep flying out, keep flying out, keep flying out into space, intending that I'm becoming subtler 
in vibration, higher and higher in vibration, becoming subtler and subtler. Little by little, my body disappeared. There was no body. And I became nothing but light. And then there was no I, there was no me, there was just light. And I was in a realm of nothing but pure light. And I also was that light. And in some very strange, it's becoming, it's very hard to explain. I brought down this light into the room and flooded the room with light. And then suddenly all of these people were, the spirits that were there in the room, just with their arms open like this, received this light. And then they looked at each other. They were, sit, you know, nodded at each other, saying their final goodbyes. And one by one, they disappeared into the light and were taken in by this light and were all released. Or it looked like that. And then I was pulled back into my body and I woke up, thought, okay, that was strange. Closed my eyes and had a beautiful, very deep sleep with nice dreams that day. Woke up in the morning, felt absolutely refreshed. And ever since that day, I've not, I've not had that interaction with those spirits ever again. I have no words to explain whether what happened was real or not. Nevertheless, it was a very interesting experience. And I thought I'll share that in response to those questions in terms of, have I seen spirits before? So my response would be, maybe. Maybe I have. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back next week with a continuing on the, with the series with longer, more detailed videos on other kinds of spirits. So, thank you, take care, and I shall see you very soon. Peace.